As we've reported, NASA and SpaceX are set for a historic launch tomorrow, one that could define the future of the U.S. space program. Ahead of that launch, we sat down with the head of NASA to find out exactly what to expect. Take a look. Administrator, when you look at that countdown clock, what goes through your mind? So we think about all the work that's gone into this program. E even before this program, we did commercial resupply of the International Space Station. We're talking about people have, who have put a decade worth of their life into this upcoming mission, which is launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttles back in 2011. And, and you think about the decade and how many people worked on this program to get it ready to go. And you're looking at a clock that says we're less than, we're 23 hours now away from that happening. So um, this is a lot of work. This is three and a half billion dollars worth of investment by the American taxpayer. Um, and it's, a, it's the dawn of a new era in human spaceflight, where NASA is gonna be a customer, one customer of many customers in a robust commercial marketplace for human spaceflight. There's something very powerful about this happening right now in the midst of this pandemic. Right. People are going through such tough times. Yep. And here is a sign of hope. That's right. Yeah, so um, our country has been through a lot um, in, the, in the recent months because of the co coronavirus pandemic. I remind people though, that we've been through tough times in the past. We look at the 1960s and the early 1970s and our country was torn apart at the seams. And yet we had this moment in that era, we had this moment in time uh, when we landed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the surface of the moon in 1969, July 20th. And, and at that moment, it didn't just unite America. Everybody was inspired, everybody was in awe. It united the world. Administrator, before you leave us, we want to do a fun little lightning round of sorts. Okay. Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, Spaceballs. This is a tough one. Pluto, planet or not? Planet, 100%. Make no mistake, the NASA administrator is right now declaring Pluto to be a planet once again. We did hit a nerve. We did it. <laughs> Tang or orange juice? I'm going to go with orange juice. Um, <laughs> but certainly, a lot of people give credit to NASA for Tang, right? <laughs> uh, just to be clear, NASA did not invent Tang. Love that space balls answer. Our thanks to Gio for that interview. And make sure to keep it right here on ABC News Live for full coverage of this historic event. Our coverage begins tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.